The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring. Welcome to Raw, live tonight from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm Jim Ross, here with Jerry the King Lawler. I love Fort Lauderdale, JR, especially around spring break. Yahoo! Well, spring break only comes once a year, but Raw brings the excitement with it wherever we go, and tonight is no exception. You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar. And there's the submission! There might not be any way out of it! There better be! But we're gonna see a tap out right here! What a reversal! I tell you, King, sometimes I get exhausted just watching these superstars. I know what you mean, JR. Most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got to have some excellent condition to be able to do what they do. Well, that's the name of the game, JR. You gotta keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. I'd ask you where you come up with this stuff, but I don't think I want to know, quite frankly. Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's gonna go. What are you talking about, kid? We could be looking at a pinball here, one, folks. Two. Oh man, that was almost three, JR. And it's been reversed. I'd ask you who you want to win this matchup, JR. But it's been pretty obvious since the start of the show who you're pulling for. I'm trying to remain as objective as I can, King. Quite frankly, I'd rather see a good competitive matchup than see a particular superstar win or lose this thing. Oh, come on. Everyone knows you play favorites. You're always trying to kiss up to the fans by talking up whoever they're cheering for. I've never been a kiss up in my life, King. Which is more than I can say for some people. I call them like I see them. And I'm flattered that the WWE fans agree with me as often as they do. I don't know how much more of this I can stand to listen to, JR. You know what the difference between you and I-95 is? You can turn off I-95. Her opponent is dazed and confused. Can she capitalize? She sure can, JR. That Mick kick will do a number on anyone. Flat on your back with your shoulders on the mat is no place to be. What's this? It's Stephanie McMahon! You know it's gonna be a big night when the daughter of the chairman of the board pays us a visit. For a month now, I've watched this whole title controversy unfold. I'm not gonna stand for it any longer. The board of directors may have failed to make a decision, but I am going to remedy that right now. My family, the McMahon family, created that title. And for the good of Raw and all the people out there, I'm taking it back. Can she do that? Her last name was McMahon the last time I checked. You want to tell her she can't, King? Hey, there's only one dominant female in the WWE, ladies, and you're looking at her. But Trish, I've got to admit, I kind of admire what you pulled off, so I'm not sending you away empty-handed. I'm going to give the previous champion a title opportunity at Unforgiven but I'm gonna let you pick his opponent, because I know how you like doing favors for the boys in the back. Well, Trish Stratus may no longer be the WWE Champion, but she's gonna choose one of the contenders for the vacated title. You seem to be under the mistaken impression that Trish ever was the WWE Champion King. I think Stephanie made it pretty clear that she wasn't and never could be.
You know, I've never been Chris Masters' biggest fan, but I've got to say he's gotten a heck of a raw deal lately. Trish turned on him in an insane plan to win the WWE title for herself, and now he finds himself out of contention for the title. You're right, and the masterpiece is going to have some aggression to work out here tonight. I'd hate to be either of his opponents in this triple threat. This man lost his WWE Championship in what can only be called a swirl of controversy. And I have to believe that he will be the popular choice to win it back at Unforgiven. Come on, JR. Stop playing favorites. He'll get the title back at Unforgiven if he can beat whoever Trish chooses as his opponent. And speaking of Trish's mystery contender, I think it's just about time for us to find out who it is. I don't believe it. It's The Big Show. The Big Show is Chris Stratus's choice to compete for the WWE title at Unforgiven. I guess size matters to Trish. Well, you gotta like Show's chances at Unforgiven. And his two opponents definitely have their work cut out for him tonight, too. Ladies and gentlemen, Raw has come home for one of the biggest events of the year, live in the heart of New York City. They don't come any bigger than the Big Apple, JR, and they don't get any better than the superstars of Raw. They sure don't, King. New Yorkers don't press easily, but there's no doubt in my mind that the Raw superstars are more than up to the task. These fans are too stupid to real. I don't know if his opponent has what it takes to kick out. You've got to give Big Show some credit, JR. He might be slow and clumsy, but at least he's not very bright. Oh, you're a screen king. I'd love to see you try to say that to the Big Show's face. If I could figure out a way to say it using only one syllable words, mm. I'd do it, JR. Superstars sure aren't going easy on each other here tonight. He's got that submission hole locked in. He sure does, JR. He might make his opponent tap out right here. Well, you can't ever accuse the WWE fans of being shy about saying what's on their minds. You sure can, JR. And I don't think we'd have it any other way. The Undertaker's been in WWE for 13 years now, JR. And I think it's really starting to show here tonight. I don't know what match you're watching, King, but the dead man looks as good tonight as when he first appeared in the WWE. I'm not sure if it's your eyes or your brain that shot, JR, but that's ridiculous. The Undertaker should quit now, while he can still retire with some dignity. Shouldn't even be talking to him. That submission is locked in, JR, and this is a tough hole to break. It sure is, King, and even if you break the hole, it takes its hold on you. And there he goes. The submission is locked in. Oh my gosh, he might make his opponent tap right here. No matter how many times I see it, I never get over the size of the Big Show. Seven feet tall, 500 pounds. That's a whole lot of superstar. Oh, he's big all right, JR. He can't even go to the beach anymore because Greenpeace keeps trying to tow him back into the ocean. You better hope that the Big Show doesn't hear you saying that, King. I'm not so sure he'd be as amused by your sense of humor as you seem to be.
don't think the fans appreciated that one very much. But I don't think he cares much what the fans think. That much is obvious, King. What a lowdown, despicable move that was. You're putting a lot on the line when he climbed that turnbuckle. I think this crowd's giving these superstars, he's a slippery devil. I'll agree with you about the larger part, JR. He's about as wide as he is tall. I'd say he should take up sumo wrestling, but I don't want to see him in a loincloth. No one's ever going to accuse Big Show of being a pretty little ballerina king, but I think he's a great deal more agile than you give him credit for. Well, he couldn't be much less. He's got all the grace of a bull elephant and half the size. is an excruciating but effective method of winning a match. Yeah, and it's a surefire method of birth control, too. Oh, my. Now, that's what you call a compromising position. That's enough to make you rethink your entire career, JR. Look at this, JR. Can you imagine SmackDown putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect intended for our SmackDown colleague, but... I don't think this superstar's gonna be having any kids in the immediate future, JR. I wouldn't think so, King. Not without a medical miracle. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. He's got his opponent in a pinning predicament. There's the kick out. I thought that was it for sure. Oh, man. Don't tell me he's about to do what I think he's about to do. Tombstone pile driver. My God, what an impact. We could be looking at a pinball here, folks. Here's your winner. You know, show, now that I'm around, <laughs> you're going to get something that you haven't had in a long, long time. The WWE title. You're damn right. You made the right decision when you hooked up with me, Trish. I don't think there's any doubt in your mind anymore that bigger is definitely better. Unlike Chris Masters, I know how to get the job done. And that's exactly what I'll do at Unforgiven. What we'll do at Unforgiven. I'm going to take you all the way to the title, just like I took Chris Masters. Well, not exactly like Chris Masters, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Here comes the once and future champion for a tune-up match against Snitsky before the big title match a week from Sunday at Unforgiven. And you're not kidding when you say that it's going to be a big match. Everything's bigger when Big Show gets involved. And by no means should we discount the sheer size and mass of Snitsky. He's not exactly a small man himself. And this singles match should provide a very interesting preview of Unforgiven.
Welcome to Raw, live from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm Jim Ross with Jerry the King Lawler. I know I say this a lot, JR, but I think tonight's show is going to be the best one ever. You might be right, King. Of course, the Raw superstars always seem to find a way to outdo themselves every week, and that shouldn't be a surprise. I think I know who's going to win this one, JR. Oh, really? Enlighten us, King. Wait a second. Why are you so eager to hear my prediction? Because I want to know who's going to win. And nine times out of ten, it's not the superstar you pick. The Undertaker's been in WWE for 13 years now, JR. And I think it's really starting to show here tonight. I don't know what match you're watching, King, but the dead man looks as good tonight as when he first appeared in the WWE. I'm not sure if it's your eyes or your brain that shot JR, but that's ridiculous. What a submission hold! Could this be a tap out? It isn't, the hold can't be broken. You can't take this kind of pain for long. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. It's like he read his opponent's mind. Snitsky's not the most popular guy on the roster, but you've got to admit that watching a one-man wrecking crew in action is pretty exciting, JR. I don't think that exciting is the word for it, King. It's downright scary to watch Snitsky go to work. Someday, he's going to seriously hurt someone, whether he means to or not. So, how do you think this one's going to turn out, JR? Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE. But you've got to have a guess, right? I might, but I'd rather keep it to myself. It's all the same to you, King. I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chanting, JR, but I guess it's their right. You're damn right it is. It comes from the price of the mission. Is there... Oh, my gosh! He's got his opponent 10 feet in the air! JR, you know what's next? The last ride! There's no move more feared in all of sports entertainment. He's a three count away from a pinfall. One, two. He almost got the three count, but almost doesn't count. respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Straddling that ring rope has got to be just about the most uncomfortable thing a human being can endure. No kidding, JR. That's worse than an all-day donkey ride. Wow! Listen to these fans, JR! You can fool some of the people all of the time, and all the people some of the time. It looks like he's taking his opponent for a ride, King. And that's one ride you don't ever want to take. The last ride. And now pin. This could be one, it. Two, three. Here's your winner, The Undertaker. This is so exciting. Our title match is only six days away. Our title match? I mean, <laughs> your title match, of course. <laughs> I'm, I'm just excited to manage you all the way to the WWE Championship. Manage? Yeah. Um, Trish, about that, I don't think so. Um, excuse me? Look, we've had some fun this past few weeks. I got what I wanted by having you name me number one contender. And we both know you got something out of it, too. 
but I'm not an idiot like Chris Masters. I know what happens when you get involved in title matches. So thanks, but no thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to meet a man in the parking lot before I meet him at Unforgiven this Sunday. Oh, don't you walk out on me. Don't you dare. Nobody does that to me. You understand me? Nobody. I am Trish Stratus. What are you doing? Let go of me. Put me down.
He's come so far. He's been screwed over seemingly at every opportunity. But you've got to believe that it hasn't been all for nothing. You've got to believe that he's going to go all the way here tonight at Unforgiven and win back the WWE title. Believe that if you want, JR, but my money's on the big show. I mean, look at this guy. No disrespect intended to the former WWE champion, but you just don't bet against seven feet tall at 500 pounds. Here comes that idiot Big Show. Idiot? You just said you'd put your money on him to win the WWE title tonight. And I think he will, JR, but he's still an idiot. Tell me something. If you had Trish Stratus begging to come down to the ring with you and stand by your side, would you tell her no? Well, King, I, I rest my case. Fools rush in. Is that why you always seem to be in such a hurry, JR? I think I've eaten a little too much good Oklahoma barbecue. Can his opponent kick out of this fitting predicament? Oh man, that was almost three, JR. Wow, listen to these fans, JR. You can fool some of the people all of the time, and all the people some of the time, but there's no fooling the WWE fans at all. The Undertaker's been in WWE for 13 years now, JR. And I think it's really starting to show here tonight. I don't know what match you're watching, King, but the dead man looks as good tonight as when he first appeared in the WWE. I'm not sure if it's your eyes or your brain that shot, JR, but that's ridiculous. The Undertaker should quit now, while I can still retire with some dignity. A textbook reversal there. respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional athlete I know. It really is like being married to your career. There's not much room for anything else. And marriage is a son. This capacity crowd is solidly behind their superstar. Look at this. Wow. Could you be any more biased, JR? And here's the pin. One, two. He was a split second away from a three count. Look at this, JR. Can you imagine SmackDown putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect intended for our SmackDown colleagues, but no, I can't, King. I truly believe Raw is the dominant brand of sports entertainment. And you hit the nail right on the head there, JR. The dominant brand. Not the slightly better brand or the sort of superior brand. Absolutely not. I'm a raw man. And I have to believe we're head and shoulders better than the competition. You won't get any argument from me, JR. SmackDown's the minor leagues as far as I'm concerned. And there he goes. The 
submission is locked in. Oh my gosh, he might make his opponent tap right here. He's got his opponent locked into submission, JR. This could be it. It could indeed. He might force his opponent to tap out right here. You know, JR, everyone goes on and on about how great The Undertaker is. But I think he's overrated. It takes more than black lights and some dry ice to impress me. And how about going 14 and 0 at WrestleMania, King? How about being a four-time WWE champion? Does that impress you? Now, come on, JR. I'm not saying that the dead man doesn't have one or two impressive achievements to his name. I just think he's taken too seriously for a grown man who... It looks like he's taking his opponent for a ride, King. And that's one ride you don't ever want to take. The last ride. He may get the three count here. These superstars are going to put each other through wrestling hell tonight. They've already got a pretty good start on that, JR. They have indeed, King. I don't think there's an ounce of quit between them. Yeah, that's where things get dangerous. If you're too proud to admit that it's not your night, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. But at the same time, King, no one makes it up the ladder without pushing themselves to the very limit. It's a very fine line to walk. Oh my gosh, can you imagine getting beaten with your own finisher, JR? He's going for the cover, JR. One, two, three. He did it. He did it right here at Unforgiven. He recaptured the title that some would argue was his all along. It looks like justice has finally been served. And you know what? I'm glad he did. Now you can stop going on about how he got cheated out of it in the first place. This is a great victory. Nothing against the big show, of course, but it just goes to prove that there's nothing that can keep a true champion from the WWE title.